So welcome back to Between the Rows, and this is going to be our first attempt at a racing video. We're gonna go racing for four days in northern Minnesota with the Advantage RV modified, Wissota modified touring series. And we're here in car owner Corey's yard, or Slap's yard. His name is Slap, that's, that's the name his mother gave him. And we're going racing. There he is right there. We're a YouTube racing team now. Thanks. Yeah. Are we bringing mascots? Are we bringing the, the lug nut sisters with? <laughs> Candy and Crystal? Candy and Crystal. <laughs> We're gonna roll out. It's about a two hour drive straight north to Norman County Raceway? Speedway? Norman County, Minnesota. <laughs> Night number one. We got everything ready. Hopefully we put together a good showing. It's always nice to have a good first night on one of these deals. Uh, talk about how the season's gone for you so far. I understand a little bit up and down or? Yeah, it's been it's been kind of frustrating. I feel like we've had a, a lot faster car than what our results show. Um, we've moved up a lot. We've passed a lot of cars, but we just seem to struggle in heat races, uh, mostly with dumb luck. And and so we're, it's like we're always digging ourselves out of a hole. But I, I feel like we got stuff put together. We just gotta, we gotta get a whole a whole good night put together, you know? Gotcha, and tell me about the new car you got this year. Yeah, we got a brand new uh, MB Customs. Um, just got a new Vic Hill under the hood, so we only got a few races on that, and things are rolling pretty good. I mean, when it's good, it's good. Like I say, we just gotta get the monkey off our back and start putting some better finishes together. We're scheduled to roll out in the second heat of modifieds here. We got 28 with soda modifieds, pretty decent show. 1700 to win tonight. Uh, we start second row inside. Top two make the redraw, so we want a top two. Top three are in the feature right away. We got a couple hard hitters in front of us with the 21 and the 26. So we'll see what we can do. good cars we're trying to get second there the track is really slick there's a little bit of cushion up top not a lot left on the bottom looks like it's gonna be that way for the feature we got 40 laps to go that'll put us on the grid in 10th so we fifth row outside we got plenty of time to try to do something we didn't bend anything up so so far so good we're getting ready to roll off for the feature we got 40 laps start 10th heat race went decent Wish we'd have gotten second there so we could have redrawn for a better spot, but we had the car to do it, just didn't get it done. Hopefully this goes clean and we load up a straight race car. I'm hoping for a top five. What do you think, Onyx? Top three. Top three. I'll make it even better. That's ambitious. I'd be happy with a top five too. Yeah. Especially on a show like this. I'll put it this way, I'll be disappointed with anything besides the top five. What are we going for? A top five, top ten, top three? Top five would be good. Uh, uh, track
track's pretty slick right now, cleaned off, so odds are it's going to rubber up at some point. So hopefully we can make some hay in the first few laps and see where it goes. All right, you've heard from car owner Corey. Well, we did not win last night or really ever come all that close. Slap, do you, do, you, do you, how do you feel about last night and going into today? <laughs> uh, disappointed, but yet kind of assumed last night went kind of how it would. I was hoping for a top five. We got to seventh lockdown. Mm -hmm. Like I, we got to thought. we got to fifth and a half for a little bit. There, yeah, a few it times. Was, it, I thought we had a top five coming middle of the race, and then we didn't. We ended up with a top seven. Yeah, disappointing seventh. Yeah, yeah, I guess could be worse. We got to put a new been, front bumper on. Had a little oopsie doopsie. Just a little one. That's how it goes. Now we go to River City Speedway in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Grind some tires, change some gears. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll uh, we'll go move our hotel out of the pits here now. You inspect the damage, Onyx? No, I just had to throw away my water. Yeah, just a little, just a little wrinkle. So the guy in front of me was having fuel pressure issues, and middle of the back stretch, uh, his his car stopped going forward and mine didn't, for a second there. But no harm, no foul. Everything else pretty straight, other than the quarter panel here, pretty typical. We'll knock that out. We know uh, we know a good body guy who's got a mallet and a block of wood. Aaron, you need a cheeseburger? Yes. Yes. Probably two. Probably two. Your sleeves already fell off. I know. Working out too much. It is a little warm out here. Yeah. Well, what are we'll what are loft dolls doing over there? Are they fixing? Yeah. Yeah. Changing transmissions. Changing transmissions. Oh yeah. Greg loft doll. He did make an awful lot of laps last night while the rest of us were parked under a red flag. He. Kept rolling. Wow, that sun got warm in a hurry. All right, we're gonna roll out and head to River Cities about one hour up the road here. Take the rolling hotel on the road again. Here we are, River City Speedway. It is hotter than heck out. We thought yesterday was hot. My pickup said 102 as we rolled in here. Low humidity though, so that helps a little. There is a chance of some rain moving in here in the next couple hours, but we've got close to four hours before we're gonna start racing. So we'll go through the pill draw here get a number, grind some tires, change some gears, hammer out the quarter panel, maybe put a front bumper on and see where we go. Setting up the GoPro, Shane. Look at that. We're doing GoPro racing this week. Pretty fancy camera. That's a gear, fancy huh? GoPro. It's just a nine with a case on it. Or are we doing a, is this gonna be one of those snap your fingers things? No, <laughs> but that'd be a better idea. <laughs> I wish that would work. <laughs> yeah, come on baby. Put an extra half second into it. <laughs> We're gonna work on it on the trailer, that way it's not gonna rain. Well, then it does rain, you can get out of here. That's what I'm thinking. When the clouds get black, we can wheel on out of here and not have to be pulled out by a tractor. Get in there. Six twelves. Good as new. I'd say we can unload it and mess with that shock and fix the front bumper. changes to the shocks on the left side felt pretty decent we changed some of the timing on the left front left rear um, took some of the pogo sticking out of the car softened up the left rear some 
drove nice till the track went one lane. We're gonna try something different under the right rear now. I'm not a shock guy, so I don't ask too many questions. All I know is this is one of the new shocks that a couple drivers have had really good luck with, so we're gonna swap it out and see what happens. It's supposed to free us up on the throttle through the center of the corner a little bit. That's the name of the game. We start on the outside pole for the heat race. Front row, outside, decent heat race again. There's the, some of the faster cars in there towards the back. Um, 21 or two cars here tonight, so a few less than there was last night. This is a track we've always run good at before. We've got a few wins here. This is a big, uh, big race, big night, so we'll go see what we can do. We change that shock, we'll go do it. Did you sleep good? You look like you need a shower. He doesn't want to talk about it. You, you guys, you guys feel any better today? Solid seventy-five I, cents today. Seventy-five I cents. I had a few too many hours of sleep. My bulbar hurt because I snored so long. And it dried out the hangy ball. Yeah. That's a problem. That's why it's dangerous to go to bed early. Yeah. 
you guys got to quit that stuff. We decided since we're not putting on enough miles in this trip, we're going to go an hour and a half in the wrong direction to our buddy's place who's got the correct parts to try to remedy our issue. That's that. How it goes. Yeah. How it goes. Uh oh. You're making a mess. I'll clean it up. You're gonna clean it up. Right? I'm gonna do it then. Alright, we got the car fixed. We're pretty sure I took it down the gravel road. We just swapped the pump out. We did not put a steering box on. Our buddy Blake here, we're gonna meet him at the track. He's going racing the same place tonight. He's got an extra steering box in there. If we need it, that'll be a lot easier to switch than the pump was. But for now, we're pretty sure we got it fixed. Now we got a 130, 140 mile trip to the north. We'll do it again. Here we go. Greenbush Race Park, Greenbush, Minnesota. That pretty much right there is Canada. So we are way up here. Another night of racing. We are set up camp and it's time to go to the pits. There's not a whole lot of tracks in the upper Midwest, specifically Minnesota and the Dakotas that I haven't been to, but this is one of them. I have never seen this track in person. I hear it's a lot like last night in Grand Forks, just less banking, maybe a little more straightaway. Most guys say to run the same gears. Onyx and I are gonna head up here and take a peek, see what we've got. Ooh, look at that. That's a racetrack. I like it. Small track, some straightaways, a little bit of banking. Flat around bottom, then up top, just like they should be. I like the, the no wall status. I'm uncomfortable when there's a wall around the track. I don't like it because I pretty much hit it with the spoiler every night because I prefer to run the top because I also hit tractor tires when I run the bottom. So I feel safer up top. I like the momentum groove. Hopefully that works later tonight. Car owner Corey, what are your thoughts on our up and coming heat race? Well, I think it's nice that we start on the outside of the front row. Uh, a lot easier when you don't have to try to pass a bunch of cars. Hopefully the track isn't as slimy as it was in hot laps. The back is running good and we should be good to go. The car's smoking a bit over there. outside pole for the feature which is extremely rare like dinosaurs rare what do we got to do here I would say just stay out front for 30 or 40 laps 40 40, 40. basically and till they tell me I can stop now and take some pictures drink some beer that is a hell of a plan I like it Easy. It, sounds, it sounds really <laughs> simple, doesn't it? Do you have any better advice for me than what Slap did? Go in deep and come out hard. We'll just leave it at that. Alright. <laughs> Back to my dinner. We won. It's uh oh, it's a little after 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Probably should update you then, not now. How'd it go last night? Well, there's still beer in the cooler, but we won. Woo! Have you caught up on sleep yet? Getting there. Working on it. Yep. Maybe in about 30, 40 years. <laughs> One battle at a time. I don't want to overdo it. It is Sunday. It is Sunday. It's a good race, good track, smooth, racy. Uh, pulled out the win, so it's good. First RV tour win. Yeah. Thanks, Ruben, for uh, putting this series on. It's been a fun time when we've been following it this year. Where are you at? You seem a lot more professional when you're showered and sober. He hasn't showered, though. 
I haven't showered. Oh, you didn't shower? No. You're just professional. I'm just professional just from like 10 a.m. to like 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Our time is limited because it's uh, four minutes past 11. One minute past? Four, yeah. four minutes past. Yeah. So you're working on overtime. Onyx, did you get a shower? No. You tried. I got in there in the water. We ran out. <laughs> At least you got your hopes up. <laughs> Onyx, were you pretty pumped with last night's results? Yeah. I'm pretty pumped. Had a clean race, no problems with the car. Didn't even put any new scratches in it. We're going to go find some pancakes and eggs somewhere. I don't know where. On down the road that way. We got about a two and a half hour drive south for our final race of the weekend. We should have already had like 18 race wins in the past two years. Well, yeah, well, we've had, we've struggled. So maybe we got the monkey off our back. The bad luck is gone and yeah, feels good. Here we go, night number four, the final dance of the weekend. We're in Bemidji, Minnesota now. This is it, boys. It's go time. It's go time. Thoughts, Onyx? Anything deep or inspiring? As mom would say, don't flip it. Don't flip it, that's inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, words of encouragement? Uh, Ideas, a, thoughts, wisdom? Get a good jump on the start and hopefully slide out in front of Andy. Well, you heard it there from Corey. Jump the start, slide your buddy, and go. <laughs> on a side note, the in-car camera thing was fun for a little while, but uh, we broke the lens. Not the lens on the camera, but the lens on the case. Takes a pretty heavy duty case apparently to keep up with the rocks coming off of a dirt track. So that's a no go for the rest of the weekend. So we won our heat, we did what we needed to do, but Onyx, how did you redraw? I drew us the best number. The best number? And what was that? Number nine. The number nine out of a possible? Nine. 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 Look at that look you're getting from Aaron. Yeah, not cool, buddy. Not, not cool. cool. Not cool. You want to apologize to Aaron? I told Aaron to redraw, and he said I had a hot streak going, and he, did, he didn't want to redraw. That's fair. I actually agree with you. You yeah. should have been the one to do it because you had the hot streak yep. going, but now it's over. Yep. It's over. It's fun while it lasts. <laughs> Ninth to fifth, not a bad run. I think our tire's even in decent shape. Tires are in good shape. There's a few guys smoking some tires off, which is always a con concern at this track. No damage, just a little little wrinkle in the quarter panel. Maybe uh, Slap might have lost some dignity over the weekend. Lost the hoop. You might have lost some dignity. That's maybe the most some damage we got. Hands. Yeah. But that happened. He didn't have much. Yeah, when you start with none, it's tough to lose a lot. It is, that it is, that it is. That's a fair point. Onyx, thoughts? You want to thank your sponsors, your crew? Uh, thank you, Masters Plumbing and Heating, and Corey for drinking all the beer. Shocker and, Hitch. And May West. May West. So we're just rolling into the yard here. It's a little bit past midnight. Hello, Anna. We're home. And I'm observing that we have had almost no rain and five miles to the northeast when we rolled through it was pouring rain. I expected to have about an inch of rain here and maybe double our season's rainfall. But no. No, that doesn't happen this year. Can you see me or is it too dark? Anna, are you happy that we're home? Come here. Hey, Didge. You all worked up about the lightning? 